With dunking so overpowered in NBA 2K24, I was testing out a few Kevin Cruz test builds that would have dunking as the main attribute. But guys, what you will see in this video is that 97 layup is arguably more broken than stick dunking in NBA 2K24 and why 97 layup is the secret sauce to unlocking some of the most broken builds in NBA 2K24. So let's start by discussing the benefits of having a 97 layup. First of all, 97 layup basically guarantees you an incredible green window regardless of the type of contest of your different layups as you can see right here, a 72% contest. And if you're wondering how did it feel finishing through that type of defense, it basically felt like finishing against an open layup. I'm telling you guys, regardless of the amount of defenders that come at me, as long as I don't get blocked, this 97 layup gives me the confidence to finish through anything and make sure that all I have to do is choose the right type of finish, concentrate through contact or defense, and just follow through. But 97 layup isn't going to bail you out from taking the wrong type of shot in a wrong situation. As you can see right here, I cook my defender with a James Harden combo into pro dribble style cross launch thinking i have an open lane but this is a pretty good rim protector but as you can see right here it's insane what you can do with a 97 layup choose the right type of finish and you will finish through anything using this unblockable devin booker floater for example or even in this situation where i pick the scoop layup man as long as you select the right type of layup you will decimate these types of rim protectors all day the second reason why having a 97 layup is well worth the investment is because you get all the Hall of Fame finishing badges for layups that are going to be important. As you can see right here, Slithery and Giant Slayer on Hall of Fame is an unbeatable combination that will allow you to get past your defenders, avoid contact, avoid the ball getting stolen, and avoid getting blocked even against high level rim protectors. And in my opinion, Hall of Fame Slithery and Hall of Fame Giant Slayer are those badges that people take for granted just because they don't really see the tangible effects of what it might do. But believe me guys, after running with a 97 layup build for most of the season, those two badges are huge for finishing with no dunk builds. And in my opinion, the 97 layup is well worth the investment just to get that Hall of Fame Slithery. Now you can bring it down to 91 to get gold slithery but that in my opinion is the lowest I would go if you were a no dunk build. As you can see right here I'm just disrespecting my opponents left and right. Doesn't matter whether it's contested, not contested or if I see the help defense coming as long as I pick the right layup, get in position and finish with confidence I'm gonna get that bucket. And being this effective as a slasher is going to open up your game so much more. And why I really think you don't need dunking in NBA 2K24 is because floaters are overpowered. Just take a look at where I take off from, not even giving the help defense a chance to react. And even if they do, a 97 layup can get you so much success. So go invest in that 97 layup. Equip the Devin Booker layup package, which has one of the best, if not the best floaters in the game. You just got to watch out for this really bad one near the basket. But once you learn how to activate his running floater, my goodness, I haven't been blocked. And I've gotten insane success by mapping out a way to get into this insane floater. And trust me, guys, once you equip the Devin Booker layup package for this particular floater, you're not gonna go back, man. LeBron James ain't got nothing on the Devin Booker layup package. So yeah, while it's disrespectful and emasculating to hit a contact dunk over an opponent, maybe over two opponents, hitting these types of shots over three dudes, come on, that's disrespectful. But more importantly, the Devin Booker layup package is not just a one-trick pony. If you learn how to activate his different layups, 
some of them are taking off from so far away acting like a secondary floater you will dominate defenses and if this video gets let's say 500 likes i'll do a specific tutorial on the devin booker layup package to further unlock your 97 layup game let me tell you guys, it's pretty nuts. I have so much fun getting to the basket, beating my defenders off the bounce, and figuring out what finish I should use to disrespect my defenders and the ongoing help defense. When I'm feeling extra spicy, I like to do his slow-footed Euro step, just to mix up the timing so that guys don't know what will hit them. So Book's floaters are so good, his euros are so good, the scoop layups are super sweet. It's truly one of the elite layup packages in the game. But why you should invest in a 97 layup is because it is so cheap. I got 93 post control, 93 mid, 86 three point shot, a good pass accuracy, good ball handle, 93 perimeter defense. That you won't get these combination of elite attributes if you invest in a 96 or 94 dunk because of the requirements for vertical as well as you saw right there so with a 97 layup i am a legit three level threat that's elite at all levels being able to do all of these post combos these advanced three-point shots, hitting contested mid-range, step-back jumpers, even being a decent enough passer and playmaker that you're a secondary playmaker for your team. It's just you're going to be so elite in so many more areas as opposed to investing in an expensive dunk rating and vertical rating. So there you have it, guys. This is, in my opinion, one of the most broken mechanics in the game. Invest in a 97 layup save those precious attribute points to be dominant everywhere else trust me you'll be hitting some insane shots and you won't regret it it's the key to unlocking some of the most broken builds in nba 2k24